hotel. Pepper and George have come to play at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Hello, Granny and Grandpa. <laughs> Hello, my little ones. Would you like to see what I've made in the garden? Yes, please. Then follow me. I wonder what Grandpa's made this time. I've made a hotel. What's a hotel? A hotel is a house where you can stay for a holiday. <laughs> Hotels are very fancy. Like a fairy castle? Yes, just like a fairy castle. When you arrive, someone takes your bags and you're given a comfy room to stay in. That's what a hotel is. Mmm, I like hotels. Uh, my hotel isn't exactly like that. I'm sure it's still very nice. Here it is, my bug hotel. Oh. oh, my word. Good, isn't it? It isn't quite what I was expecting when you said hotel. How can we stay in that? It's not for us. This hotel is for little bugs. Oh. It is made out of sticks, old logs, bricks and leaves. All the things that bugs like. Here comes a little beetle. Look, our first guest. Welcome to our hotel. Um, which of our rooms do you fancy? It's going into the tube thing. Yes, the beetle <laughs> likes this bamboo tube the best. It's just the right size for it. It looks really cosy. <laughs> yes, and I want lots more bugs to stay at the hotel because they are very good for the garden. Look, a ladybird. Ah, yes. Here comes our next guest. <laughs> the whole family have come to stay. The baby ladybirds are so sweet. Hello, everyone. For you, I'd recommend our family rooms. The family rooms are a piece of wood with lots of holes. <laughs> Ooh, look, a butterfly. Welcome, Miss Butterfly. I see you've discovered our roof terrace. <laughs> Ugh, these are a bit too creepy crawly for me. No, Granny. These are wood lice. They do lots of good work. They prefer a room that is nice and dark. May I recommend this room for you? Night, night, wood lice. <coughs> well done, Grandpa. Your hotel is almost full. There's always room for more guests. The more, the merrier. Look, a bee. It's a bumblebee. In you go. Oh, no. It can't fit in. None of the hotel rooms are big enough for the bumblebee. We'll just have to make a new room. Pepper and George, would you like to help? Yes, please. <laughs> First, we need to find something big enough. What about this flower pot? <laughs> That's perfect. We'll just turn it upside down. Would the bee like a comfy bed inside? Yes, I'm sure the bee would like that. <laughs> George has found some dry grass. Perfect. That will make a very comfy bed. The flower pot room is just right for the bumblebee. She's sounds very happy. She's going buzz, buzz. I'm a bumblebee. I like to buzz around. Buzz. George is a beetle crawling on the ground. We are little bugs. We play all day. We like the bug hotel and we want to stay. Mm, buzz, you're buzz, very large buzz, bugs, aren't you? Buzz, I don't think we have any rooms big enough. Oh. But the bug hotel never turns guests away. We just make more rooms. Here you are. The grandest room of all for our most important <laughs> guests. I'm all lovely and snug. <laughs> I think it's the best fancy hotel in all the world. Yes, it is rather good. <laughs> Peppa and George love the Bug Hotel. All the little bugs love the Bug Hotel. <laughs> Pepper and George are spending the night at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Granny Pig! Thank you! <coughs> Hello, my little ones. <coughs> Where is Grandpa Pig? Oh, he's messing about at the bottom of the garden. <coughs> Here is Grandpa Pig. Grandpa Pig! Hello, Pepper and George. What are you doing? I'm building somewhere for me to hide. Why? 
Well, you see, I really want to spot an owl and tick it off in my book. Ah! I have spotted lots of different birds, but never an owl, because owls only come out at night, and they are very shy. Ooh. So tonight, I will hide in here, and when an owl comes, I will spot it. Clever Grandpa! <laughs> First, I have to use twigs and leaves to completely cover my hiding place. We can help. Pepper collects twigs. George collects leaves. <laughs> well done, Pepper and George. Look, I am completely invisible. <laughs> Here are Mr. Stallion and Mrs. Corgi, dressed as bushes. Hello! Have you seen Grandpa Pig anywhere? Boo! Yeah. Yeah. Good hiding place, old chap. And what, may I ask, are you two doing here? We are out for a bit of bird spotting. We are hoping to spot an owl tonight. That's why we are pretending to be bushes. Grandpa is going to spot an owl too. Well, good luck, old chap. May the best bird spotter win. Toodle pip. Bye. Grandpa Pig. Cooey. Let's try out our hiding place. On Granny. <laughs> Peppa? George? Grandpa? Hello, Granny. We're here. Where? We are hiding. Are you over here? You're getting colder. But I can't see you anywhere. Here we are. Ah! <laughs> oh, my goodness. That is a good hiding place. Oh, oh yes. Pepper and George are helping me get ready to spot an owl. I see. OK. Time to spot an owl. <laughs> now, a boy owl makes a sound like this. Doot, doot. Hopefully, a girl owl will hear my call and answer back. Doot, doot. Grandpa, did you hear that? I certainly did. It's a girl owl. This girl owl sounds like she's getting closer. Yes, she wants to meet me, the boy owl. Oh, it was just you and me doing owl calls. I thought you were a boy owl. And I thought you were a girl owl. Yes, well, moving quickly on, maybe there's another way to spot a real owl. Like what? You said that owls are very shy. Yes. Well, maybe all this calling is scaring the owls away. Let's hide again, but be very quiet. Brilliant. I suppose it's worth a go. I heard something. Look, it is a real owl. Now I've spotted an owl, I can tick it off in my book. And me. And you. Wow, owls are the best. Pepper <laughs> loves owls. Everyone loves owls. <laughs> Skateboarding. Today, Pepper, George, Mummy, and Daddy Pig are at the park. Pepper has her scooter. <laughs> George has his tricycle. <laughs> Mummy Pig has her bicycle. And Daddy Pig has his skateboard. Daddy, can I have a go on your skateboard? Skateboarding is quite difficult. Even for a grown-up like me. Yes, you don't have anything to hold on to. Please, can I have a go? Well, maybe Daddy could give you a lesson. Yes, I think you're just old enough to learn. Yippee! It's best to start off slowly, like this. Daddy Pig is good at skateboarding. Now it's your turn, Peppa. Yay! Put one foot on the board and push with the other. 
<laughs> well done, Pepper. And now try it with both feet on the board. Look at me! Whoa! Well done! <laughs> I can skateboard! It is Belinda Bear and Simon Squirrel. They are big children. Hey, Peppa! Yo! Hello! Is that your skateboard? It's my daddy's. Can you skate on it? Yes! My daddy taught me. He's the best skateboarder in the world. Well, I suppose I am a bit of an expert at it. Really? So, what do you make of these ramps? Oh. <laughs> wow! Amazing! Simon and Belinda are very good at skateboarding. Peppa, would you like to try? Yes, but I can't skate like you. Hmm, but only because we're older than you. Yes, we're almost grown up. I'm nearly ten. Wow! Maybe you big children could give Pepper a lesson. Yes, please. OK, we'll teach you. As long as you keep it slow and safe. Of course, we'll keep it real cool. Let's go down this little ramp. I'm here to catch you, Pepper. OK, Daddy. I'm here to catch you too. <laughs> George is helping as well. <laughs> now, Pepper. Put both feet on the board. Yes, I've done that before. And we'll give you a little push. Um, it looks high. I'll take you a bit lower. Ready now? It's still quite high. How about here? OK. Wow! I did it! I did it! Well done, Peppa. Yes, you did brilliantly. <laughs> I'm going to do it again. Watch this! Oof! Are you all right? Yes, I think so. She's fine. When you're learning to skateboard, there's lots of falling off. Yes, that's why helmets are ace. Wow! That's so good! Can you do that, Daddy? Um... I expect I could if I wanted to. Please show us, Mr Pig. Oh, all right. Um, Daddy Pig, are you sure this is a good idea? Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. Right, have you ever been on a ramp before? Not as such. Wow, he's gone to the highest ramp. Oh, I hadn't realised quite how high this was. Maybe I'll... Wow! Look at him go! <laughs> My goodness! That was awesome! Unbelievable! My daddy is the best at skateboarding because he is very old. Thank you, Pepper. <laughs> Daddy Pig loves skateboarding. Everyone loves skateboarding. Hop, skip, jump. Pepper and George are playing in the garden. Can't catch me. You're never going to get me. Here is Rebecca Rabbit. Hello. Hello, Rebecca. What are you playing? We are running! Running is good, but can you hop? Yes, I can! Hop, hop, hop! That's not hopping, Peppa. That's jumping. Oh! Hopping is when you jump up and down on one leg, like this. Hop, 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 hop! Rebecca hop, Rabbit hop, is good at hopping. Hop, 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 hop! Hop, 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 hop. Come on, George. Hopping is easy. You just jump on one leg. Hop. Hop. That's it. Hop, hop, hop. Hop, hop, hop. Hopping is fun. Here is Susie Sheep. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Susie. Susie. What are you playing? We are hopping! Like this! <laughs> Super duper! But can you skip? Yes! We can skip! Skip, 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 skip! skip. <laughs> skip. That's not skip!
skipping? That is just funny running. Oh. oh! Skipping is when you hop on one leg, then hop on the other leg. Like this. Susie is good at skipping. Hop on one leg. And then the other. <laughs> Come on, George. <laughs> oh! George is good at skipping. <laughs> I can skip the highest. I can skip the longest. <laughs> I can skip the fastest. <laughs> Here is Pedro Pony. Hello, everyone. Hey. Hello, Pedro. What are you playing? We were hopping. And now we are skipping. Have you done jumping? No, but I love jumping. <coughs> jump, jump, jump. Peppa is good at jumping. Hopping, skipping and jumping. Can you do them all together? What? what? Like this? Oh. <laughs> That's impossible. I mean a hop, a skip and then a jump. Like this. Hop, skip, jump. Ooh! My go! Hop, skip, ah, jump! No, that's wrong. I can do it. Skip, skip, hop. No. Jump, jump, jump. No. Let me try. Jump, hop, hop. <gasps> no. Hop, skip, jump is not easy. You have to keep it steady, like this. Hop, skip, jump. Hop, skip, jump. Are you ready? Are you steady? Hop, skip, jump. <laughs> Hop, skip, jump. Hop, skip, jump. Are you ready? Are you steady? Hop, skip, jump. <laughs> Peppa has found a muddy puddle. Hop, splash, skip, splash, jump, splash. Hop, skip, jump, splash, splash, splash. <laughs> Hop, skip, jump, splash, splash, splash. <laughs> this is the best. Peppa loves hop, skip, jump. Everyone loves hop, skip, jump, especially in muddy puddles. <laughs> Motorbiking. It is a lovely sunny day in Granny and Grandpa Pig's garden. Pepper and George are helping Grandpa Pig with his raspberry patch. A little bird has come to look at Grandpa Pig's raspberries. <laughs> ah! Shoo, shoo! Cheeky birds, eat my raspberries, would you? The little birds like your raspberries, Grandpa. So do I. It's a good job I'm here to make sure they don't eat them all. Grandpa Pig, I've just had a wonderful idea. Let's go camping. Camping? Camping! <laughs> we could camp in the garden. No, let's drive somewhere. Find a nice spot and pitch a tent. But our car is at Grandad Dog's garage, being fixed. Oh, yes. What about the old motorbike? Motorbike? Yes. Grandpa and I have had many adventures on our motorbike when we were younger. Whee! <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes. That was fun. But it was a long time ago, Granny Pig. All the more reason for us to get the old motorbike out again. <laughs> Here it is! Motorbike! What's this funny thing on the side? It's called a sidecar, Pepper. You and George can sit in it. What about my raspberries? You can't take your garden with you, Grandpa. Come on, it'll be fun to get away for a bit. I suppose so. But if we're going to go, I just need to make sure my raspberries will be safe. Pepper and George, you play in the garden while I pack a bag for the trip. OK. <laughs> there. What are you doing with your raspberries, Grandpa? I'm keeping them safe from those pesky birds. Are you planting them in your shed? Uh, 
Um, sort of. Here we are, bags packed and ready to go camping. What are you wearing, Granny? This is my motorcycle jacket. It keeps me warm on the motorbike. Oh, my raspberries will now be safe and sound. Let's go. Very good. Do you have the helmets and goggles? Here they are. You must wear a safety helmet if you ride on a motorbike. All aboard. Yes, yes Granny Pig. Pig. Which way should we go? That way. The seaside. Hooray! Whee! <laughs> <laughs> Granny's motorbike goes brum, 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 brum. Granny's motorbike goes brum, 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 all day long. <laughs> this is Grandad Dog's garage. Hello. Fill her up, please, Grandad Dog. Granny Pig, I didn't know you had a motorcycle. Yes, we're using it while you fix our car. Well, the car is fixed. You can take it now. Oh. If you don't mind, I think we'll pick it up later. We're having too much fun on the motorbike. Bye! Bye! Granny's, Granny's motorbike goes brum, brum, brum all day long. <laughs> Pepper and George have arrived at the seaside. Hooray! Let's camp here. But Granny, we've forgotten the tent. No, we haven't, Pepper. This is a very special camping motorbike. Watch this! Wow. wow! The motorbike has turned into a tent. It's a magic tent. Yes, Pepper. We've got everything we need to sleep by the sea. Hooray! I hope you're not missing your raspberries too much, Grandpa Pig. Not at all because I made a few adjustments to the motorbike this morning and brought my garden too. Wow! Your raspberry patch! <laughs> Grandpa Pig loves camping, especially when he can bring his garden with him. Canyon country. Pepper and George are in America, on their way to Hollywood. Look at that view. It's like the moon. Are we on the moon, Mummy? <laughs> no, Pepper. We might be lost, but we can't be that lost. Can we, Daddy Pig? Uh. <laughs> Here is Mr. Buffalo. He is digging up the road. Excuse me, but is this Hollywood? No, this is the desert. Oh, has it always been the desert? Well, a long time ago, it was actually the sea. The sea? Yeah. If you look in the sand, there are seashells. Look, George, this was the seaside. <laughs> but now it's desert for miles and miles and miles. So which way is Hollywood, please? That way. Thank, Thank you. you. The desert is going on for miles and miles and miles and oh, miles. Oh, we're nearly there yet. <laughs> no, not yet, Pepper. America is a very big country. It feels like we could go on forever. Stop! It's Mr. Buffalo again. I'm not Mr. Buffalo. I'm Mr. Bison. Ah. Oh. Are you digging up the road? No, miss. This here is a canyon. Ooh, that's a big hole. Yes, it is. 277 miles long, 18 miles wide, one mile deep. Wow, and you dug that hole all by yourself. No, sir, I did not dig it. That canyon was carved out by a river a long time ago. Ooh. If y'all want to know more, there's an information desk over there. Hey, how you doing? I'm Miss Rabbit. Oh, it's another Miss Rabbit. Yeah, there's a lot of us about. Would you like a tour of the canyon? Yes, please. please. Then hop in. <laughs> wow! Amazing, isn't it? It certainly is. These rocks have been here since the time of the dinosaurs. Dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> there aren't any dinosaurs. 
dinosaurs now, but many wonderful animals live in the canyon. There's an eagle! Wow. wow! The next part of the tour is by boat. Boat? This rope ladder is for your convenience. What? You want us to climb down? Yes! Down you go! What do we do now? Just sit back and go with the flow! Okay. Just watch out for the rapids! Whoa! Yes, lots of fun. Look, caves! Wow, just think, we might be the first to ever enter these caves. Postcards, drinks, <laughs> snacks! Huh? Welcome to the Canyon Caves. Come and have a look. These were homes for the people who lived here a long time ago. They drew pictures of all the animals that lived here. Look, there's the eagle. Ooh. And that is the end of the tour. Thank, Thank you, you Miss Rabbit. Rabbit. My pleasure. Where are you off to now? We're going to Hollywood to be in a movie with Super Potato and Hash Brown. Wow, I would love to be in a movie with Hash Brown. You can come too if you like. Well, that's very kind, but I'm so busy here. You have a great time in Hollywood. We will. Bye. 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 Enjoy Hollywood. Pepper and her family are on their way to Hollywood. Sea treasure. Pepper and George are camping at the seaside with Granny and Grandpa Pig. I love camping in your tent. Oh, we love it too. Over the years, we've camped in the mountains, in the jungle. We've even camped on an iceberg. Ooh. We can camp anywhere with all the comforts of home. And just like at home, the naughty birds try to eat my raspberries. <coughs> you naughty seagulls. Shoo! Shoo! Can we go to the sea now? Yes, let's go and have fun. I'll stay here and guard my raspberries. <laughs> Pepper and George are going to play by the seashore. Watch out for the waves, George. Here it comes! Ah! <laughs> Ooh! Look what George has found! It's some old rope. It's sea treasure! Another wave, George! Run! <laughs> Look! Shells! More sea treasure! Hooray! Watch out for the wave! <laughs> <laughs> Poor Granny, you've got your feet wet. Yes. Oh, plastic bottles. They don't belong on the beach. And here's a bottle with something inside. It's a message in a bottle, Pepper. Ooh. What does it say, Granny? It says, Hello, my name is Little Reggie Rabbit. I am on holiday with my mummy and daddy. Who's Little Reggie Rabbit? I don't know, but he's left a telephone number. Can we ring him, Granny? Why not? Hello, Grumpy Rabbit speaking. Can we talk to Little Reggie Rabbit, please? I'm afraid there isn't a Little Reggie Rabbit here. But there is a big Reggie Rabbit. That's me! Oh, so where is Little Reggie Rabbit? Well, that was me, a, a long time ago, mind you. Little Reggie Rabbit was Grampy Rabbit when he was a little boy. Oh! We found your message in a bottle. What? But I must have thrown that bottle into the sea a hundred years ago. But we don't throw bottles into the sea anymore. Do we, Grampy Rabbit? Uh, no. Too much plastic in the sea. 
We found lots of sea treasure on the beach. Mainly plastic. Uh, did you pick it up? Yes. Good for you. Maybe you can make something from it. Then you can be like me. Grumpy Rabbit likes making things out of old junk. Yes. Thank you, Grumpy Rabbit. Bye-bye. The cheeky seagulls are eating Grandpa's raspberries. Uh, shoo! Shoo! Grandpa, Grandpa, look what we found on the beach. <laughs> it's sea treasure. So it is. Well done. <coughs> oh, if only I had something to scare these birds away. Let's make something with the sea treasure. What a good idea, Granny Pig. We can use this rope to string all these bits and bobs together. There! Ah! Ah! Granny Pig has made a thing to keep the birds away. Hooray! And now it's home time. Helmets and goggles, children. Yes, Granny! All aboard and off we go! Bye-bye, Seaside! <laughs> Grandpa's motorbike goes brum brum brum, brum brum brum, brum brum brum, brum brum brum, all day long.